Hey, Jay Oliver here. Uh, my friends at Pianote uh, asked me to come over and demonstrate some stuff. Uh, and I love Vancouver, so I'm here. Um, I, thought I, would, I thought I would show something really interesting that, that I never see other piano players do. Um, it's a thing that I just kind of fell into years ago because I used to play guitar. Um, and I like sometimes guitar voicings over piano voicings, and I like some of the motifs that they play um, more so than piano. So I'm going to show you one that I do quite often here. Bottom line is the right hand doesn't play the chords. The right hand plays basically one, five, one, just some couple of simple notes on a rhythm, rhythmic motif. And the chords come from the left hand instead. And often that means that I don't play a bass note. Don't always have to play a bass note. I think uh, often piano players tend to uh, anchor themselves on a bass note all the time. Don't have to do that. Um, sometimes implied is, is even better. And of course, if you're playing in a band with a bass player, you definitely don't need a bass, bass note. So I'm going to show you something that I do quite often, and I'll do it in the key of G. So starting, I'm going to be 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So I'm accenting 2, 4, 1, 2, three, four. And now I'm going to play chords with the left hand. You can play any chords, um, but I'll try to keep some simple chords. Notice they're not in root position. There's no bass note. So for G, since we're starting in G, I'm going to play this chord, which is a G major chord in uh, second position, meaning that the fifth is on the bottom, then the first, and then the one, and then the three on, the, on top. So here we go. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So here's my G chord. Now let's make it a C chord. Back to G. Let's go to a five chord. out into something you know pretty interesting and pretty cool. For instance, uh, you could change the chords to something a little more mm, adventurous. Watch this. changed it's still just playing those those bell chords and I just changed some chords I added I went to E flat major it's just a E flat major in, uh, in in second position it's kind of a low clustery thing but it's kind of cool and and what makes it a major seven chord is is those notes in there they they change the quality but the actual chord is just just Three, uh, five, three, five, one, three, and then the next chord is like that's kind of like an F triad, but not a triad. It's a uh, three. It's a, again in a, in a different inversion. This is the first inversion, so three, five, one, and then back to G. So those three chords, kind of a cool reflective feeling that you get. Just some ideas for you to chew on, mess around with. 
Uh, bottom line is mix it up. Try to get away from the piano approach and think about it more like a guitar player or a drummer or a singer or a sax player or any, any kind of different way. I just think it's kind of fun to, to get away from convention, from the usual traditional way of doing things and try to come up with new ideas to make it, make it sound a bit different. Thank you.